I got to play a live game two or three days ago. And I don't have the live video edited properly to show, but I have this, uh, I have the game review. So let's go over the game review. Uh, myself and uh, Brooding Tree, my grandson, 19 years old, and obviously he's rated much higher than I am, uh, 1197, and I'm 651. And so he won this game, and uh, he played, I think he played great. He does something a lot better than, well, a lot of things a lot better than I do, and one of them is take his time. Uh, between his moves for the most part. So uh, that's pretty cool. And so you can look at the stats here. Um, well, I had one brilliant move, but that was, I think, accidental. We'll get to that. We had great moves, none of us. He had 12 best moves to my two, and th excellence about the same. Good moves, he had six to my four. Book moves, two to two. Inaccuracies, I had 10, he had five. And so these are all by the uh, chess.com databases, which is incredible. By the way, this is Kevin Bench, and I have a PhD in information technology, and I go by uh, Dr. Bench in the classroom where I teach math, and then uh, Dr. Chess on this channel. And this is my, my grandson and I's game, uh, not too, well, two or three days ago, something like that, four maybe, I think three, whatever. Time flies. So this is a, a King's Pawn opening, and he uh, replies with the, uh, the pawn up to c6. And then he has this, uh, Queen's Gambit, also Karakhan Defense, which he really likes. And so that's my answer to that uh, for this game. And he chooses not to take. And so I keep developing pieces. This is uh, a piece that I I don't want <clears throat> this pawn, this uh, bishop to come down here. And so I put this up because I want to put my knight up next. But I don't want him to pin my knight against my queen. It, without you know, I just don't want him to be able to do that. So that's why I make that move. Um, Chess.com considers that a slowing down the game, and you know, which is absolutely true, I'm certain. But it's a, one that I like. So I get my knight out, and that's considered a questionable move. Um, allows the opponent to eventually win a knight. So this is uh, so this was his next move to get his knight out and begin to develop his pawns. I go ahead and, and castle at this point, and then he moves his uh, bishop up. Probably getting ready if he takes this and it opens up this diagonal. So I move here because I, I decide I would kind of like to have a pawn storm, I think. Let's bring my pawns up and uh, go up because I can't really get this bishop out unless I do something. I'm not sure what I want to do with this knight, so let's just see what happens next. He gets his knight out and begins developing the, his pieces. And uh, then it's my turn to go. And so I <clears throat> move the pawn up because I'm getting ready to move this pawn up. You know, I like to have this pawn as the backup for that when I go up. And then I can decide what to do. So let's see what happens next. He goes here, which is considered a great move because he's threatening my undefended bis bishop. So I'm going to have to do something to defend my bishop or lose it. So I move it back. And uh, that's... Uh, uh, I thought it was a good move. <laughs> so, but not chess.com. And so then he goes there and see captures my my pawn, and uh, so then I go ahead and capture his knight. And then uh, he, uh, of course, we trade pieces. Then I move back here, and that's considered a good move. Get my knight out of the way. I can't move it. I mean, if you look at it, uh, I couldn't move my I couldn't move it here. Um, let's see, actually, I could have moved it there here or here I couldn't move it there could move it there but that wouldn't be any good and I could move it there but then he'd be able to take with his knight so so my best bet uh, I probably was here now that I think about it at any rate but the, this this was considered a good move so he moves his um, bishop there which I really don't like that because it pins that pawn against my king. And so I, I worry about that because then if he comes down with his knight or something else or his queen to go against this pawn, yeah, I know it's protected by my rook, but I think it's a pretty serious limitation. So I move my king over. That's considered a great move. Yay. And uh, so then he castles. And then I move uh, my pawn up because I, I like to begin moving my pawns up if I can. And this maybe is a questionable one, but it's on his king side. And if I can weaken his, his defense around his king, I think I'm doing a good thing. 
So then I move my um, rook up. And uh, so I don't know what uh, what would have been considered a better move. And so then I move my pawn up because I want to start getting my pawns up. I want to get uh, these pawns up is where I consider my battleground. I don't see anything obvious that I can do on this side. But I know if I begin moving the pawns up, I will find something to do that will, um, you know, win me some material. So he begins to move his pawns up as well. I get my knight out to begin to do battle. He moves his pawn up, which I think is great. It begins to change this pawn structure. So maybe I can do something. We'll we'll see. I know I could move my I could move my knight here. I, I'm not sure. So let's see what I did next is get my uh, bishop out. That allows me to, uh, you know, attack this whole row because I really have my eye on that pawn. If I can, with my queen or rook or, or knight or something. If I, because if you take something with a defended piece and the king is the only one that has the ability to take it, well, <laughs> then you're, you're good. You're good. All right, so let's, um, let's see what happens next. So he goes there. I put my queen up on this on this diagonal and also here and so it, it allows me to possibly do some good things here depends like if, if i move here and then here uh probably doesn't allow me to um uh, get an extra pawn but it protects my pawn from this uh, from this bishop here so we'll see i'm not sure what i did next okay so he puts his knight up which is threatening my queen so I, I do something a little weird. I take his knight with my uh, bishop because it would allow me to go up here and take his, I mean, rook. <laughs> I took his knight with my rook, and uh, that that was a, uh, a, a, a good sacrifice in terms of um, chess.com because I would have been trading my rook for his knight and a bishop, but he saw it. And so he took a different route. He, he took my my pawn. And uh, so so now I had a choice. I could leave my rook there and take his bishop, or I could do something different. And so obviously now, now I have an option. I, I just got a free knight. Well, that's pretty cool. So what else could I do? You know, I, I went for my, you know, my threats and checks and uh, captures, what could I do? So if I looked at my queen, I could capture nothing important, nothing that's not protected. Uh, I couldn't really do much with my queen. This rook, I kind of could have done something with this rook. When he took this pawn, I could have done something. Uh, but then this pawn would not have been here to help me out protecting my king. So so, uh, so anyway, I just moved my rook over. It's considered a best move because it gets his bishop out of the way. And of course, his bishop is, you know, I can go for it with my queen or my king, either way. But he gets it out of the way, that's great. Well, then I realize I have a great opportunity. Um, I have an opportunity to go, I, I move my queen up to threaten this pawn and this pawn. So I knew that I would get one or the other. It's a favorite. I love to take something and, uh, you know, fork or make it where I can get two pieces or something along that line. So. That gave me this opportunity, which I thought was great. So let's see what he did to uh, overcome that. He puts his um, his pawn down, which is great. So if I took it with my um, knight, he would have just taken. I wouldn't have been able to recover because I have the uh, the the rook there backing it up. But it does give me my opportunity to go and take this free pawn which I thought was awesome. And so the free pawn uh, jeopardizes this bishop. Of course, it's protected by the queen, so it's no good. But it, I have a bishop here he's going to have to move. So that's awesome. And uh, so I like that a lot. Uh, of course, if I move this pawn up, then I, I have access to this pawn uh, here by my bishop, which, of course, lets me leap over here to this. I mean... I've got some I got some plans against his king, if at all possible. So we'll see what's gonna happen here. So he takes my um, he takes my pawn with his queen, which is uh, which is fine, but I've got I kind of got tunnel vision on this area up here. 
And so I didn't properly protect. What I should have done is I should have moved this here. I don't think I did that. Had I done that, he would have had to move his uh, rook over uh, to uh, do something, maybe threaten my, qu my queen. But my queen is threatening two bishops. And that's fantastic. So that gives me a great opportunity. So yes, he took a pawn, but he doesn't really have anything else he can do here. Well, I'm sure he had a plan. So I took his bishop to trade bishops. I thought that was probably good enough. And I put him in check. So I thought that was cool. And then, um, so then he moves his king over, which is fantastic. But then that gives me something I can do. Uh, he, uh, I put my knight up there, which was considered, you know, not a good move. Uh, but I was getting more stuff on this pawn. I think I was going to take this pawn and then put him in check in the checkmate. So he took my bishop, which he should have. And then I put my queen here. <laughs> I know, a blunder. But it, it really wasn't, it wouldn't have been a blunder. If I could have gone here, it would have been checkmate. <laughs> but I, but he, uh, he ends up, it ends up not being that. Matter of fact, he ends up um, taking my uh, my rook, and basically it's almost checkmate. I mean, it's so close, it's insane. So he he takes my rook, puts me in check, and I think, oh crud, I'm hosed. So I, I move my knight to uh, get out of checkmate, but of course it has to sacrifice my knight. And then he puts me in check again, moves his queen there, obviously you know, from here to there, no problem takes my knight now I've got all kinds of problems I've got my rook my knight is you know it's just it's just chaos obviously I feel like I'm gonna lose purely and I do lose eventually but I had a chance to win so that was uh, a forced <laughs> it was a forced evade from the queen what else could I do so then he takes my my uh, knight but look what would have happened if I had realized this I could have put him in check here he would have been in check, and he would have had one move to move here. And then if I would have moved there, it would have been checkmate. I didn't see it at the time. Always take your time to play. I didn't. But he had a minute, eight seconds. I had 345. He was worried about time. I wasn't as worried, but I was worried about time because time was slipping away. So I think, crud, what am I going to do? I don't know. And so I was kind of just shaking my head back and forth. I wasn't sure what to do. And so instead of taking that incredible move and making it a checkmate, I moved my queen over here. Why? I don't know. Maybe after this pawn, or maybe I could go here and then do something. I'm not sure what I had in mind, but I wanted to do something. So he puts his, his um, rook down. He's going to go down and threaten my king. So I go ahead and take a free pawn. <laughs> that didn't accomplish anything to get a free pawn. So he goes and threatens my rook. So I put my rook down. I probably should have put it up. Had I put my rook up, it probably would have been a better deal. And then if I had put my queen up here, he would have had to do something to avoid checkmate. Of course, I didn't. I don't think I got very many free moves after that. So that was um, his. Uh, uh, pawn up, threatening my rook. So I put my, my pawn there, and that was a bad move. Shouldn't have done that. But of course, if I hadn't done that, he would have moved here and put me in check, which I didn't want to do. Um, because then, it, you know, just this next piece down, it would have been checkmate, I think. So he puts me in check with his queen. I'll go down here. So then he just, he doesn't have to do much to make it checkmate after that. It's pretty easy. Because I, I can't go here, because this is, this is all in check by this, this rook is in control of this corridor. And so then he goes down and puts me in check. And then it's one more move and curtains. And, well, I put my, all oh, right. So the only thing I could do when he had me in check there, I just, sorry, I didn't realize it because really it should have been checkmate because it was here and here and here and every, everything was against my king, okay? Everything was against my king. It was, there was nothing I could do. The only thing I could do was bring my queen down and let it be taken. So that's what I did, bring my queen down <laughs> and that's it, you know, I had to do that. I had to block with my queen. And then he takes, and it is indeed checkmate. But that, I thought it was kind of a fun game. And it was instructive. 
Uh, my grandson is rated 1197, basically call it 1200. Uh, I'm rated 651. Uh, I was up to 736 and lost a little, gained a little. I need to share those games as well. And um, my, my grandson and I played a live game, but I'm having to learn how to edit uh, videos. And so I'm working on that as we speak. And uh, if anybody has any really, really good ideas of good video editing software, I'm trying to decide which is the best one to use. And I haven't found one that really makes me happy yet, but I'm working on that. As soon as I find something like that, I'll post the live game. But this is still the game analysis, and he's quite an intelligent uh, young man, and we had a great time. And so we played another game, and I'll uh, post that as well and get that going. In the meantime, thank you so much. This channel is success is because you're watching and you're supporting and you're encouraging. Thank you for that. It couldn't exist without you, and I appreciate it so much. And uh, please comment. Let me know your thoughts about the game. You know, let me know your thoughts about anything else you saw that, uh, you know, that I didn't because my grandson and I went through the whole game, um, you know, moment by moment trying to figure out, you know, what we should have done and what went wrong, et cetera, et cetera. We both had some things we wish we would have done better, and obviously so. If you look at the, if you look at the details of the game, where was that? The analysis somewhere, um, I don't know. Anyway, there was a there was an analysis of uh, there we go. This analysis here, it showed we had some inaccuracies. You know, fifteen inaccuracies on the board, uh, four mistakes altogether, six misses, uh, blunders, etc. So plenty of opportunity for us to look around and see what we would like to do different. And so maybe you can do the same thing. In the meantime. Um, so right over here, if you would like to click on that and subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you want to watch another video, there's another video over there somewhere, and you can click on that and watch the next video. Either way, if, if, you, uh, if you feel like it, if you think I've earned it, please subscribe, click on the next video, and let me know your comments, positive or negative. I don't care if it's constructive criticism. Great. Help me make this thing better. Help me make it better for you. The whole thing is it's supposed to be helpful for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll check you later.